Hello and welcome to today's session. Today we are looking at anatomical position. Okay. What's anatomical position, guys? Well, uh, this is the fundamental concept in human anatomy. Okay. Can you imagine just a canvas upon which um, the marvels of human anatomy are painted? The anatomical position serves as a reference point. That is the starting point from which we explore all the intricate details that make up our wondrous form. So when we talk about anatomical position, we envision a person standing upright, facing forward with the arms at sides and palms face, uh, facing forward. The feet are parallel and the gaze is directed straight ahead. Okay, it may seem simple, but this position carries immense significance. The anatomical position is the universal language of anatomy. It allows us to describe the body structures in a standardized ways, regardless of individual variation. It forms the basis for understanding the directional terms that guide us through the body's landscapes. Terms like superior, inferior, anterior, posterior, medial are going to be understood better. Guys, a link will be popping up for these directional terms. So embracing anatomical position sets a solid foundation for effective communication among healthcare professionals. It is common ground from which we can navigate the complexities of human form and functions. So when you are studying the relationship between bones, muscles, organs, or you are entering the world of patient care, Anatomical position serves as your compass point. It guides you in your exploration of the body's intricate ar architecture and helps you understand the spatial relationship that underlines its remarkable functionality. So, let's em embark on the journey through the realms of anatomy. Let us always return to the starting point. That is the anatomical position. It is a reminder of the unity in our diversity a reference that transcends individual variation and a touchstone for the awe-sparing uh, complexity that defines our human, our human existence. So, in the anatomical position, you could be having uh, the, we are ref referring to the head, okay, what is the eyes, uh, fingers, legs, and this is what we call topographic anatomy, guys. So topographically, what does it entail? You find that the head is positioned upright and facing forward with the face directed straight ahead. When you look at the eyes, the eyes should be open and looking forward, aligned horizontally. The arms should be extended down by the sides of the body with the palms facing forward and thumbs pointing away from the body. The hands should be open and palms are facing forward, fingers are straight and together. So the fingers, each finger individually extended and aligned with others. For the legs, the legs, they should be straight and put together and the feet parallel to each other. The feet should be flat on the ground with the toes pointing forward. At the toes, each of the toe is individually extended and aligned with the others. What about the torso? The torso should be upright and facing forward, maintaining a neutral alignment. The body midline, the body's midline uh, runs vertically down the center of the body, dividing it into left and right halves. Okay? So, guys, so um, this is how we need to stand in anatomical position. Okay? Facing forward. Okay, it'll allow us to face forward a little bit. Correct. So, facing forward. Okay. Facing forward. Okay. Um, arms aside. Palms facing forward. Thumb facing away from the body. Okay. The fingers together and extended by the side. Okay. The lower limbs together. Feet flat on the ground. And also the feet the 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 tassels and the toes extended okay so that's how we stand in anatomical position remember to get to check into the description section you'll get a quiz on how to test 
uh, that, that the quiz that will be testing on your general knowledge on how to be in anatomical position. Thank you so much and have a great time, guys.